Okay, YouTube, this is Tim Cooper, Cooper's Automotive, and we are looking for a battery drain overnight on this 2002 Mercedes uh, C320 wagon. And the first thing you got to do is prep the car, obviously. Um, so I'm going to give you a walk around of that, and then we're going to start hunting for this short. Okay, in preparation with it, obviously, you've got to get your lights out, that light, all your lights. I just got some Gorilla Tape on the switch right here and put it on that one. And um, I believe also going to have to, yeah, you're going to have to do uh, both sides. You got to get those lights out. So heavy Gorilla Tape here on each side, really thick, like electrical tape on it. After you've done that and you make sure that all your lights are down, um, we can see one thing's on right now. Is this a reverse camera on this car? I'm going to turn that off. I just noticed that. And there's an amp meter, the advantage, the old advantage digital multi graphing meter out here. And that's the amperage draw we got on it right now. So. We've got to find out what's causing that. And uh, what I understand is common is power seat um, modules under the seats. So let's start with the driver's side power seat module right here. These keys out of the way should be right there. And Let's unplug this. Two plugs here. And then walk out and see what our meter set. Back out under the hood. And we still got 1.2. After a period of time of letting everything time out, by the way, hooking us up amp meter up across my. Um, positive cable there. I just used some clip wires. Normally I would have ones that are fused. Um, so we still have a draw. Let's go inside on the other side here on the passenger side and see if we can get this one unplugged. Um, one of them. Oh, where's the tab for that one? Um, there, so that one's unplugged. Now let's go back out to the amp meter. All right, back at our amp meter. Now you can see we got 0.17. Um, that's acceptable. I wish it was actually a little bit lower than that, but obviously, our passenger side window, excuse me, side window, passenger side seat module is bad and staying on and not going asleep. So it needs a passenger side seat module. Um, there's a bypass for it to still have it working and not do this. So let's do the bypass. We're underneath the passenger seat and we've got the power wire plug, which has three wires on it unplugged and the key is off. We have our power probe. You can use a test light, just prefer to use a power probe. We're gonna find out which one has power all the time. The 12 volts on the red with the green stripe. We got nothing, uh, we got ground on the brown one. So I'm gonna assume this pink with a black stripe has power on it. Let's flip the key on. And see if I'm right. We got key on power to the pink with the black stripe. All right. So what you can do is you can attach the key on power wire. You're going to have to cut it. Leave yourself enough room for in the future if you want to fix it correctly. You got to cut that wire. 
and you've got to you get some room here there and you're going to cut the red wire right here there we go you want to attach the black with the pink to the red with the green that way there will be power on that module to wake it up and it will work only come on with the key on so we need to strip this back lost my light there get us enough wire here let me change this light angle Get this power probe out of the way. Okay, so if you watched earlier videos on this car, this is my personal vehicle. It, has, it only has 50,000 miles on it. I'm the second owner. Oh, we want this one, excuse me, our pink and black wire there we go now that we got that we want to attach like i said the red and the green to that pink and black wire right there now i'm going to solder this connection together so let me get my solder iron okay I've got some solder on my wires I've got this shrink wrap solder connector on here and I'm heating up my heat gun Bring this stupid thing out of here and let's see if we get the sucker working out I like to melt you know, the solder that's in the uh, heat shrink stuff with this gun. There it went. Kind of go around it a little bit. And I could see that it completely missed this wire because it's so close. So let's uh, stop this i got another idea because this didn't work out so well i'll be right back all right i had to cut one end of that to get the wire up in there further because it's so close so let's try this and see if this works All right, I saw the solder mount. Let's let that cool off a little bit. Plug our seat in, flip our key on, and see if our seat's going to work, okay? Our connection's good. Leaving this one right here, leaving that one as is. Let's go to 
plug it right back in to the power side on this side. Should flip our key on. Let's find my key. There we are. Let's see if it works. There you go. So now your seat will only work key on and it won't draw any voltage off of your battery and kill your battery overnight so once again Cooper's automotive YouTube channel thanks for watching subscribe to our channel like our videos comment if you will and I will reply <laughs> say something good because hey life is short enjoy